everyone. This is the Winter Tradition. I am Sorella. Thank you for being here and watching our video. Uh, today I am talking about love spells. Maybe you should do that love spell. Now before the community blows up that statement, please continue and watch the video so that you have an idea of understanding of what I'm talking about. Uh, much of the pagans and wiccans and witches that I know about can agree that casting love spells on other people is wrong morally and as it manipulates their will. When we think of love spells, we think of them as involving another person. We think of high schoolers. We think of a doe-eyed woman gazing longingly at a man from the football team or the introverted boy who watches a girl who does not give him, atten give him attention. That's what we think about when we think about love spells. However, love is beyond loving others. Love also involves self-love. It is being concerned about your health and your well-being and taking care that taking the actions necessary to keep yourself in good health. Why? Because you love yourself. And with love for, for yourself comes respect for yourself. So cast that love spell. Cast that love spell that took you either three minutes to do or three hours to do. Cast that love spell that took you one dollar of ingredients or one hundred dollars worth of ingredients. Create that sigil or that spell bag or that crystal grid or charm and cast that love spell for yourself. Fall in love with your body. Fall in love with your personality and your quirks. Fall in love and respect every inch of yourself. It'll give you the kind of satisfaction that no beauty spell can give you. Beauty fades and changes. Thank you for watching. This is The Winter Tradition. I am Sarah Helene. You can see all of my contact information in the description box. If you have a topic that you would like me to cover, just comment below or talk to me on one of my social media platforms and I will get to you within a 24-hour span. Thanks for watching. Bye.